Manchester United's next game is a trip to Selhurst Park to face Crystal Palace. The last couple of years, that's what, 0-0 draw under Louis van Gaal. Then we had Zlatan Ibrahimovic's late, late winner. Man United haven't been playing the most inspirational football at Selhurst Park. But going into this game, that all-important 2-1 win over Chelsea and coming from behind to beat them. A fantastic second-half performance from United, a great individual performance from Romelu Lukaku, who's definitely going to be in this starting eleven. But who will play for Man United against Crystal Palace? This is who I think is going to be in the team. Now, I'm going for a back five of De Gea, Valencia, Lindelof, Smalling and Luke Shaw. Lindelof and Smalling, I think, will keep their place in the team. Lindelof, in particular, was good against Chelsea, apart from that one individual mistake where Chris Smalling swept up the danger. Smalling in his last couple of games has been playing well. And that's what it is with Chris Smalling. You don't know which one you're going to get. If you get that one, he's a good defender. But he makes too many mistakes too often. Hopefully that won't come against Crystal Palace, but I think given his recent form, I think Mourinho will keep him in the team. David De Gea, no questions asked. Right back Antonio Valencia, absolutely. As long as he's fit to play, I would start him. And left back, I don't know why Luke Shaw is not starting over Ashley Young. I understood it when Luke Shaw wasn't 100% fit and Ashley Young was bang in form, but now Ashley Young's bang average in form and Luke Shaw's 100% fit. And Luke Shaw was consistently good for five, six games prior to Ashley Young returning to fitness and then taking his place in the team straight away. It makes no sense. I have no idea why Jose Mourinho has reverted to character and put Luke Shaw back on the bench, especially after saying, oh, he's one of the best left-backs in the Premier League right now, and then he benched him. It doesn't make any sense. Luke Shaw should be starting this game, absolutely. In midfield, I would see absolutely no reason to change the three that worked against Chelsea, Matic, McTominay and Pogba. But we need to see the sort of second-half performance against Chelsea, not the first half. First half, Matic and McTominay were too static. They sat back, they sat off Chelsea, allowed them to build pressure easily until it was too close to our box. Second half, we pressed with real intensity higher up the pitch. We started winning the ball higher up the pitch. Matic and McTominay were crucial for that. If we do that against Crystal Palace, we'll dominate possession even more so than we do. And when you do win the ball higher up the pitch, it will give Crystal Palace's defence less time to organise. And Crystal Palace are going to defend deep. It's Roy Hodgson, they're in a relegation battle. A draw against United is a fantastic result. Crystal Palace will want the point from this. We want three points. Therefore, they will sit deep. So we need to win the ball high up the pitch to make sure they can't be defensively disciplined and in shape by the time we start our attacks. Paul Pogba playing in a number 10 role. It was a free role where it allowed him to express himself a little bit more against Chelsea. And he was better. Certainly better than he had been against the likes of Huddersfield. And Mourinho was happy with it. And I was happy with it. And I would definitely go for a front three. I wouldn't change it. I would go for Sanchez. I would go for Martial. And I would go for Lukaku. Why change a winning formula? That's the way I see it. And United against Chelsea, we rarely come from behind to beat a team under Jose Mourinho, let alone Chelsea. That was a good second half performance. I want to take that into this Crystal Palace game. And that's why I would keep it pretty much the same. For me, the most crucial part here is having the sort of intensity that we had in the second half against Chelsea, not the first half. Matic and McTominay are crucial to that. Imagine Scott McTominay, how he's feeling right now, you know, playing away at Seville against Chelsea at home, playing well in both and becoming a regular starter for Man United. With Ander Herrera out for a few weeks, that won't change. He'll stay in the team and he absolutely deserves it on that form. If he can keep that up alongside Matic, who looked more like the early season Matic rather than the Matic who has been pretty lackadaisical in the last couple of months. That's the Matic we need to see bossing the midfield, controlling the midfield alongside McTominay, allowing Paul Pogba to just create for Sanchez, Martial and Lukaku. That is my predicted start at 11. That's my preferred start at 11 probably for the game. What's yours? Leave it in the comments as always. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV people. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.